I like the experience ko talaga. Nagustuhan mo. Salamat naman. Yeah. Maybe it's a boy. Male. I think it's male. Probably a little bit younger than my parents because they're already 41. 80. Maybe they're like um, an actor. Oh! <laughs> Hello! Hello, Tax! Hello, po! <laughs> Kumusta na, Jelly? Ako, naabutan mo ako nagbabasa. Anong, mm-hmm. anong aking job? Anong ginagawa? I think writer! I think you're a children's book author. Siguro, um, ano kaya, maganda, panoodin muna natin to. Well, actually, uh, you know, these topics are um, not oftenly discussed, yes. no? Especially for children. Yes, books. So, pero I believe that uh, the children are, they have First wisdom. First prize award from the Palanca Award. That's right, that's right. right. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank so you. You're a five-time, did I get it yeah, correct? Five-time right. Palanca Awardee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you been writing children's books? Because I started, yung, I published my first children's book, My Guerra sa Katawa ni Mark, in 1993. Medyo matagal na ako nagsusulat. Uh, siguro mga per year, mga one to two titles. No? Minsan may mga year na tatlo yung libro kong publish. Minsan naman may mga time na isa lang. Like, pero tuloy-tuloy lang siya hanggang sa... Naka, ngayon siguro more than 60 na yung marami na tayo nasulat na ito. How did you start as a writer? Nung nasa elementary ako, yung teacher ko na-notice niya na, na I could really you know, write out. So, hindi ko pa realize na may gift of uh, being able to write creatively. So, how do you come up with your stories? Parang, kung uh, may mga bagay ako napapansin sa paligid, no? I get my inspiration from the people around me, no? my interaction with kids, with mga... Uh, uh, kunwari, may, nasa, nasa traffic ako, no? Tapos, sa halip na mainis ako sa traffic, nag-inoobserve ko yung mga tao sa paligid, no? Ano yung mga ginagawa ng mga tao sa labas, yun na. Lagi akong in-search for mga idea for a story. Um, but why would you uh, choose children's book? Well, I guess, kasi when I was growing up, ano, I, I grew up in Nueva Ecija and uh, during that time, walang... There were a uh, few storybooks available for me to read, if at all. Tapos nung lumalaki na ako, sabi ko, bakit? Parang I owe it to the Philippines. If I'm able to write, no? if God uh, gave me the gift of being able to write creatively, then I should be writing for the Filipino kids. Have you ever been criticized by your words, like how you write the books? Yung when a work becomes public, like in my case, when my work gets published, no? it becomes parang kita na siya ng maraming tao. Eh, no? So, okay lang yun. Uh, okay lang na, na i-allow natin yung may some criticism. So, hopefully, mas maging mabuti tayo man nila out of the criticisms that we receive. So, I, I've, had, I've had my share of criticisms there. Uh, do you find it tiring to write at some times? Sometimes, no? In fact, pag may mga time na parang yung author, ang feeling niya, parang drained na siya or... Uh, kaupo siya sa harap ng laptop niya no sa computer pero wala wala na siyang masulat i i think kung kuwersahin ano uh, that's ano parang a sign na you should go out no or kahit anong pwede mong bagay na gawin kasi sometimes yung writing is a solitary activity kasi talaga eh, no yeah you write nag-iisa ka lang uh, wala kang kasama no so i guess uh, dapat ding yung author alam niya kung paano niya alagaan yung sarili niya Gusto mo bang subukang sumulat ngayon? Mm. So, ganito ang gagawin natin. I'm going to give you uh, a lead sentence, pero unfinished itong sentence na ito. And then when I say start, that's when you, you know, e- e- everything do, that comes to mind. No? Lahat ng bagay na papasok sa isip mo. You have to jot it down. So, ito yung lead sentence ko na ibigay. No? I was walking too fast when all of a sudden, start. Okay, stop. Okay, sige. So, siguro tax, can you, can you read what you've written? Mm-hmm. I was walking too fast when all of a sudden I fell into a hole and entered heaven. 
And then I turned into an angel that flew so high that his wings fell off and turned into pork. Which okay. then he ate for lunch, but it was so spoiled that he was sad. And so he decided to eat a cake while playing the piano. Okay. <laughs> nice one. I was walking too fast when all of a sudden I saw a little puppy. I noticed he only had three legs, so I decided to take him to the vet. Mm-hmm. The vet said that and then I stuck there. Okay, good. So, pwede mo nang ituloy yun. Kasi, you know, ang, ang importante lang sa paggawa ng kwento yung sometimes hindi ka makapag-start eh. Kasi parang when you are confronted with a black, blank page, parang paano ba ako magsisimula? Ang hirap. Okay, so that's very good. Do you have any advice for me? You should ano, expose yourself to a lot of books para ma-familiarize ka sa maraming stories. So parang you have to read a lot. Kailangan mag-aralin mo na yung grammar talaga. No? Parang you should take it seriously. And uh, kasi ang tool ng isang mami nila ay mga, mga salita, the words. Thank you, Pastor Luis. I love the experience po talaga. Even the activity that you made me do. Nagustuhan mo. Salamat naman. Yeah. Uh, thank you at uh, sana ano, mag- magkaroon ka rin ng chance to read a lot of local books. Thank you for the advice. I'll take it into heart. Yes, thank you, Tintax. Anong, yeah. anong aking job? Anong ginagawa ko? Hmm? You're a doctor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> doctor ba ako? Pero wala akong hawak na stethoscope. 